growing up, I just, I always loved trying stuff on, playing with jewelry. And everybody has that first experience with jewelry, you know, making friendship pins out of cheap plastic beads. So my great grandmother's name was Elva Fields Bibbins Cook. Um, the business is obviously named for my great grandmother. So it just seemed like a nice homage to her. We found this spot in downtown Taylorsville. We're hidden in the back of the Chamber of Commerce building. So we don't have a sign, we don't advertise, nobody knows that we're here. Taylorsville is tiny, it is quirky, it is very small, and it has its own unique charm. I think there's a definitely a culture in small towns of crafting and, and making things with your hands. You kind of make your choices in life and love, and this is where we are, and I love it. I wouldn't change a thing. The first necklaces I designed were actually uh, for my bridesmaids, and I wanted to give each of them something that kind of reminded me of them. So I bought all kinds of materials in the jewelry district in New York and brought them home with me. I put them together just based on what I thought would look great on them, what reminded me of them, what I thought they would enjoy. Every single customer that I have met or interacted with has been engaging and fun, and I think that the jewelry is just sort of an extension of that innate part of their personality. There are no wallflowers that love Elba Fields, for sure. What makes what we do different is that it has a very distinct personality because of the vintage materials. They give them character and they give them personality and we have a, a look. I think the first time it really came to life was when I realized that objects were art. Um, the items we live with, furniture, vases, rugs, clothing, jewelry, all of that tells a story and all of it is an art form. And Elva Fields was sort of born out of this idea that you can combine a love of history with a love of art and make something beautiful out of it.